You know, I'm gonna be somebody one day. This... this isn't the end of my story. Just the beginning. A little something about me. I come from a rough childhood. Oh, shut the heck up, Josh. I'm just saying, man, selling to friends on the street isn't what I'm meant for. I'm meant for something more. I'm gonna own this city one day. Yeah, right. And I'll be the next president. Yo, you out here selling? Yeah. What do you need, my man? I need you to get off Frankie's streets, man. Oh, shit! So, Adam, how are you doing today? I, I can't sleep. These dreams are getting worse. I don't know what to do. These are the dreams where you are killing people. Yes, they're becoming more real, more vivid. I can feel the warmth of the blood and, and, and hear their screams. When I wake up, I'm out of breath and in a cold sweat. Yes, well, uh... Very often, in a deep sleep, our sensory parts of the brain can be triggered. This causes you to physically hear, smell, and even feel what is happening in your dreams and perceive it as real. This tricks the brain, and your heart will begin to race as if it was a real scenario, but it is important to remember, it is not. Are you comfortable going into more detail about the dreams? Tell me, what happens? Well, every dream's the same. Chasing some random innocent person down an alleyway, a hallway, or, or just down the street. I just chase them down, and then I kill them. They don't do anything wrong. They don't provoke me. I, I, I just do it. It seems to me like it might have to do with the feeling of control or power. Do you feel powerless in your life? Do you feel like you have no control over what happens to you on a daily basis? I, I, I guess. But in a way, I, I feel like I'm stuck in a rut or something. I feel like I'm trapped in a cage and there is nothing I can do to break free. All I'm doing is watching the world pass me by. Not able to, ch to change the world or, or help anybody. Or help make the world a better place. Here is what I want you to do. When you leave, when you go home, before you get into bed, go to your bathroom mirror. Look yourself in the eyes and say, I am in control. This is my life. Repeat this to yourself as much as possible until you feel confident that you believe it. Hopefully, this will help. Come back next week and let me know if this helps at all. Thank you, doctor. Large coffee, black, two shots of espresso, please. Hello, Adam. Is everything okay? N no, everything is not okay. I'm having a major episode, and, 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 and I don't know what to do. Okay, it's okay, Adam. Tell me what is going on. Okay. I was just at the, this coffee shop when I noticed this sign for a missing girl. Doctor, it's the same girl from my dream. I'm worried. I am freaking out. I, I don't... Okay, calm down. Have you been to this coffee shop before? Yes. I come here every morning. Okay, good. See, Adam, 
The brain is not powerful enough to make up faces in dreams. This means that every face you see in a dream is someone's face you've seen before. Most likely you've seen this poster before, but it didn't stick out in your mind. Subconsciously, your brain used that face in your dream. Now that you've seen it in your nightmare, it stood out to you. What is really important at this time is to make sure you get lots of rest. And you have to lay off all that caffeine as well. It is not good for the brain. How are you sleeping? It's been hard trying to sleep at all. Every time I try to get to sleep, I get woken up by these dreams. Watching these murders and not being able to stop them. And did the mantra I gave you help at all? Not really. But our conversations really help. When you come to see me in these meetings, you mean? No, I mean more when we're talking on the phone. Like like the other day, you know, when we were talking, you, you helped me through that episode. What are you talking about? We've never spoken on the phone. I, I, I call you all the time. You, you always answer the phone and help me through what I'm going through. Adam, that is impossible. I have never given you my number. We have never talked on the phone. No, no, this can't be happening. Look, I think that the lack of sleep is causing your brain to hallucinate. Normally, I would just prescribe some mild sleeping pills. However, considering your nightmares, I might have to be a bit more drastic. I am going to give you a strong sedative that will essentially put you into a mini coma. Just for eight hours or so. This should allow your brain to get the proper sleep it needs without having any more nightmares. Hopefully, that fixes this uh, phone call issue you're having. Adam? Uh, stop! Stop! Uh, what are you doing? Ah! Oh no. What have I done? Who are you? <laughs> you haven't figured it out yet? You really don't know who I am? I am you. Don't you remember? The moment you created me. Remember what mom did for a job? I remember... She was a hooker. She never cared about me. She didn't even budge when the cops took me away. Think harder. What side of the door was Mom on? That is when you created me. And it wasn't that she didn't care that you were taken away. She couldn't care. I've just been doing what you created me to do.
This isn't the end of my story. It's just the beginning. I am vengeance.